Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Alessandro Scalone, and today we're at the WDSF Bulgarian Open Championships with the legendary, a true dance sport legend, Augusto Scavo. Augusto, how are you this fine afternoon? I'm fine, thank you. Now tell me, is it the first time you come to Bulgaria? Yes, I think it is. Uh, if I, my mind doesn't lying to me i think it is the first time it's the first time now we know you're italian so obviously italy is number one but are you enjoying bulgaria yes actually it's been nice except that you know i came and watched the competition yesterday which is just very nice uh, and today is your day hopefully tonight i'll enjoy some some bulgaria some Bulgarian food, so yes. we'll hope that uh, this yeah. capital treats you right. Exactly. So as I mentioned earlier, we're here at the WDSF Bulgarian Open. Uh, what can you tell me about this competition? Did you enjoy it last night as you watched both international opens? Yes, there was the, the event was very good, and uh, I'm impressed with the, the quality of the dancing of the couple. Uh, I haven't been to a WDSF event for quite some time, and I see... Uh, there is an improvement in the basic fundamental part of the dance. You know, people are a little bit more interested in, in learning the fundamental instead of choreography and, and running around the floor. I had, I had that impression before, but actually I was uh, pleasantly surprised. I see. Well, that is glad. Good, uh, excuse me. That is good to hear. I'm sure our athletes will definitely appreciate it. So there's two main points that I'd like to to speak with you about here today. Now, the organizers of this competition are my coach Salvatore and Violetta, mm -hmm. who are your students. Now, tell me a little bit. What uh, are your thoughts on the dancing from uh, when you competed to when Salvo and Violetta competed, and now as I compete? What are, What are your thoughts on the what? On the process. There is, there is, uh, there was a moment where we lost track, basically, in order to uh, progress. People throw in the bin whatever has been done in the past. Um, so that I did not see that as a, an improvement. I just saw that as a, okay, this is wrong, and let's change it and do something different. Now I see that uh, there is a better uh, shape and better uh, understanding of usage of the leg and amount uh, of quality of movement that used to be in my stage and even when Salvo and Violetta. Uh, more uh, peop uh, people are prepared better physically than what we used to be. Uh, so there is a greater knowledge and I think this has come from a lot of teachers. They can now travel around the world and mm -hmm. people are uh, access information from different angles, which is great. Mm -hmm. I, I think uh, we just have to be careful that the, everything that we are changing or upgrading is really an upgrade. It's not, it's not, it's not that we throw the iPhone away and we right. invent Down another thing. Yeah. So, uh, and I'm actually, as I, as I said before, I'm pleasantly surprised that I see that uh, and I'm sure if this will carry on like that uh, for a few more years we will have some artists come out from this uh, so when so then the development of a dancer will be more an artistic approach that is an individuality than a choreography or a sport yeah, see, yeah. I see. Now, uh, the second topic that I'd like to speak with you today is uh, many dancers in uh, present day are feeling that today's world champion, today's 2024 world champion, is not as valuable as a world champion when Salvo and Violetta were dancing or when you were dancing as yourself. What would you say to dancers who maybe feel slightly less motivated or they feel less valuable when they become world champion if there are so many world champions? Is less valuable for sure because mm -hmm. there is more. There is more of it. <laughs> so, right. um, well, I have a theory. I mean, it's a shame for the couple that this battle between federations keep, keep expanding and even enlarging. I would say uh, with new federation growing up uh, day by day. Mm -hmm. I have a solution for that, which is a little bit funny. Maybe I can throw out there, and maybe with your uh, with your uh, follower maybe they will pick it up and do it that's right guys we're gonna have an exclusive right here by yes, mr augusto Schiav. exactly um so as a dancer 
You should only dance to fulfill your own side, passion. Yeah. So you 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 taking information and trying to develop yourself and become the better the best version that you can be. Mm -hmm. Now, obviously, then we facing the competition issue, and I understand that everyone's going to win. Right. Uh, but at the end of the day, I have to find out: Am I satisfied with my mm -hmm. performance? And that should be ninety nine percent. Then one percent is. I have the world championship style. Um, this, I mean, if the all the federation would be together, they would be better for everybody, for everyone. Okay, uh, they can be separate, but every uh, one event or two event or a world championship, there is one event. Uh, so they can, everybody can have their own federation. They can have their own championships, but the world championship should be one. They all come together. I think uh, mm -hmm. uh, the solution. Uh, like like now there is an inflation of world championships so the value is less the quickest solution you need 365 federations and one world championship every week every day so then next year nobody want to dance the world championship so they have to come back and think okay let's put this together because you know that would be my solution why wait for another 10 years so then we got another federation let's make it 365 federation and we have one world champion on the 1st of January, one on the 2nd, and then you will not, you will, the title will be, you are the world championship of the 1st of January. I'm the world champion of the 19th of April. Okay, so yes. that would be the title. So then, then you will saturate the market, therefore then people feel the need of going together. Mm -hmm. So then that there's a, there's a wanting and there's a needing. Yeah. I see. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this was our time with the legend, a true dance sport legend, Augusto Schiavo. Augusto, I'd like to thank you so much for thank your you. time. Thank and you. It was a pleasure time. to have you here at the WDSF Bulgarian Open. Thank you. Thank you.